Go ahead. When I reported in and took out the job of company commander, had, had one of the jobs that was assigned to me was uh, they were just forming a special task force that uh, was supposed to be a quick reaction force if the if if uh, Tonsonut was ever attacked, and it was called Task Force Thirty Five. And they assigned, it was it was a, a large platoon size, a very large platoon, maybe company company size, but yeah, it had to be company size because uh, what it was, was uh, they tasked, they uh, would require all the units that were assigned, all the action trace units that were assigned uh, that, that had compounds uh, on Tonsonut or very close and so forth, they were tasked to provide a certain number of people uh, for this task force. So I had platoons, as I recall, three platoons of, of ash and trash folks, uh, transportation, uh, chemical, uh, just uh, a few people from each unit. And our unit was, I think, <coughs> the biggest. And uh, so I was assigned as commander of that. Uh, now there was a lieutenant colonel that was a, uh, the overall uh, that I took orders from, but uh, uh, the the, uh, the uh, task force 35, uh, I was the uh, I was the boss of that. So every month we would go out, uh, we we would be uh, tasked to, that the the gooks are uh, are attacking over there and so forth. So you need to go up and set uh, set your perimeter up and prepare to d defend. What you did did that did that faithfully for. Uh, about six or eight months. And, and I took that responsibility with me, by the way, when I changed jobs after I'd been there for a few months. Now you get down. Gabe, down. Uh, so, uh, I said, I did that faithfully and we had uh, all kinds of, all kinds of weapons and, and so forth. And I thought we were doing a pretty good job. Anyway, um, come, uh, I think at the end of January, the first part of February, it was, it was just basically, uh, Tet was almost there, but although we didn't have any idea what was taking place in Tet at that time. Why, the boss came to me, my, my battalion commander said, called me and he said, Byron, you know, it was routine. It was, it was mandatory just about to, in order to help people get promoted. Is uh, you, you've had six, six months of command duty now. And, uh, wow. Videotaping. Yeah, hey, well, you've had six months of, in command now, and so you, you go on. Got to go on staff for the rest of your six month time. And I, I knew that was coming, but I was hoping maybe they'd forget about me or something. I couldn't get someone to replace me. Anyway, so sure enough, I had to. I had to uh, go over to the uh, signal support. Take over the signal support company. Uh, now they, those were the groups. It was it was uh, almost a it was it was a difficult job, very difficult, uh, probably one of the most difficult jobs I ever had in the army. But uh, but it was uh, sort of sort of fun in, in some ways. But anyway, what signal support had was responsible for all the micro microwave uh, shots in the, uh, in the, that went up country, and we had the what we call the site octopus, but then it was called that because all of the tactical uh, shots came in to that, to, to the equipment in that particular site, and then we would transfer it into the strategic communication system, uh, and uh, so it was an extremely important site, but it was, uh, it was a pretty, uh, it, it was pretty routine uh, in terms of the duty there, but, uh, because, uh, we were using pretty decent equipment and stuff. Uh, but the other platoon, the platoon that uh, was really the hardest working people in Vietnam just about, was cable, my cable construction people. I mean, we, we were responsible for all the cable of any kind, uh, communication cable of any kind in Saigon and around Saigon, uh, military I'm talking about. Uh, so uh, that was really a job. And when, when Tet hit, What's Tet? 
I don't know what this stands for, but it was uh, the North Vietnam and the Arvin uh, people. Uh, oh, hey, ask, ask, uh, ask uh, John. Siri or, or uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, someone what TET stands for? TET, okay. Uh, and that may just be the name for all mm -hmm. I know. What it was was uh, uh, ooh, uh, was a Chinese New Year. So uh, I celebrated over there. Uh, anyway, when the, when I got when the when the boss called me in and said I was going to have to uh, change over to staff. I, Stop. Yeah, I'll come back here.